What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is another episode of Nerf Combos. In this episode, the Modulus Long Strike. The Modulus Long Strike is an external clone of the original Long Strike with all of the same tactical potential. Extended sniper-ish barrel with a rail on the top and the bottom, plus it's removable if you want to replace it with an even longer barrel. It includes a tactical bipod to stabilize your awesome Super Elite sniper shots that extends. Core Blaster has one, two tack rails with an included scope, a six round mag because it's a sniper, of course, a fixed stock, which does limit the combo potential because you can't swap out stocks, but this stock does hold two six round mags. I'd say moderate to high ability to be customized, but the long strike in its essence is really a sniper rifle, so we're a little limited on the combo potential. But that is the modulus long strike, how it comes out of the box. Let's get into the combos. Starting out with, as always, my personal combo or how I would personally run a long strike in a nerf battle. In full disclosure, this is not really my style of blaster. If I have to use a springer, I'd prefer something like an Alpha Trooper, it's just my style. I like the pump action, it's a little bit quicker. But this is how I would run the Modulus Long Strike if I for some reason had to. Up front we have the new twin slice attachment, which looks pretty cool, plus it has the detachable little blade so you can throw them like a ninja. I have thrown a lot of these and I have yet to get a legitimate kill with them, but it's still super fun, even if you miss, just to throw a foam disc through the air. It turns out more as a decoy because when you see one of these flying through the air, it's hard not to duck. Even if it's not gonna hit you, it's kind of intimidating. Watch. Yeah, you ducked, didn't you? No? It's a little different. Doesn't work with the camera. Maybe in 3D, one of those 360 videos, I don't know. <laughs> Moving on, the twin slice is attached to the new chrono barrel attachment, which is, in my opinion, the most functional barrel attachment you can put on a Nerf blaster ever. It's a functional, very accurate chronograph to measure the initial velocity of your blaster while you're firing, and it also counts up or down. And because it's a pretty short barrel, it has minimal impact on your dart trajectory, both in accuracy and the power of your blaster. Super functional barrel attachment. I think it also looks awesome because it's clear, but being on a white blaster, Looks a little goofy, but still pretty cool. Down to the magazine, this is an 18 round stick mag from of Rapid Strike probably. Said it many times, these are my favorite magazines because it's a great balance of capacity and the ability to store a bunch of them on your body. Because with drum magazines, it's a little tricky to hold like 10 of those on your body. It's much easier to hold the flat straight mags. And you get some pretty solid capacity. Of course, I'm losing sniper status, but I don't really play under the sniper status like loadout ever. Funny for jokes, terribly impractical. And that's further reflected in my optic selection. This is just a reflex because I think it looks pretty cool. This one doesn't even have the batteries in. Whatever, I don't need them. Let's get real, it's just for the style points and I think it looks pretty cool. And no magazines in the storage stock. With this particular loadout, I wouldn't even bother using six run magazines and there's more of a chance of them flipping out or just getting in my way. I'd rather just not even have them in there. That's just my personal taste because this is my personal combo. And that concludes the combo overview. Next combo, the CQB combo. CQB or close quarter battle is intended for close quarter battle. Labels, how do they work? <laughs> Up front, we have the modulus bayonet attachment because when you're super close to each other, it might just be easier to reach out and tag somebody. Don't worry though, it's just the tip. The bayonet is attached to the new barrel extension included in the Demolisher Ultimate Customizer Pack, which features three tack rails. I did it just for the side rail because the modulus ones only have the top and the bottom. It looks pretty cool and it's a little shorter than the original long strike barrel, but still allows me to attach all my awesome tactics for my CQB games. And on the side rail here, we have one of the little sock bombs by Nerf. So in that CQB battle, if you can't bayonet, but you're out of ammo or whatever, grab your sock and throw it at them. It's not really a sock, but you know what I mean. Moving back up top, we have the flashlight mounted even has batteries in it, that's a new one. CQB is generally indoors, so sometimes the light gets turned out and that little like that, okay, let's be real, that's not gonna help at all. But it looks cool, and that's the point. Moving down to the drum, this is the 25 round symmetrical drum because it's a nice compromise of low bulk, but still high capacity. Harder to carry a bunch of these drums on my body, but assuming I shoot less than 25 rounds, I'm solid. Up here, we have the Rebel laser sight. Functionally, it's garbage, and it's actually aligned with the flashlight. This one doesn't even have the batteries in it. However, I didn't add it for the function, I added it because first, it looks pretty cool, and it also acts as a sight razor for my modulus optic up here, so then I can see over my flashlight and all of that other stuff, and it's just a more comfortable place to, to hold the optic. Without that, you kind of have to smash your face against the blaster and it's a little less comfortable. And just like my personal combo, no magazines stored in the stock because it's a little sloppier, it's a little in the way, a little bit, and they could potentially fall out. Realistically, I'm not gonna reload just for six rounds. I'd rather go to my bayonet or my sock attachment, assuming I haven't deployed it like I already have. And that is the CQB combo. And the next combo, Give me new stuff. No, I did not just sneeze. That's the name of this combo. This one's for all the nerfers that need all the newest stuff all the time. The newest iPhone, the newest laptop, the newest everything. You have to have everything new. If it's a year old, it's garbage, right? Since the Modulus Long Strike is the new hipster, awesome, reborn thing of the past, it seems appropriate. Up front, the tri-rail barrel extension from the Demolisher Customizer Pack. Right here, the Zombie Strike green flashlight, which is not helpful at all, but it looks pretty cool. Up top, the Modulus flashlight that came with the Demolisher Customizer Pack. This, this one does not have batteries. Whoops. Pretend they're there. You can hardly tell because even with batteries, it still sucks. Flashlight is attached to the Modulus barrel extension for the additional rail space. And underneath, I have the Twin Slice yet again to throw Ninja Discs because they are so much fun. Amazon put these like 50% off, so I bought two more. I have three of them. I'm trying to figure out a way to put all of them on the same blaster because that'll be awesome. More practically, I could just carry the discs in my pocket because that's the fun part, but whatever. Then it's not as intimidating because it's all about showing your opponent what you have to scare them. 
Moving back, the new Zombie Strike Optic with the included magazine storage slot. This one happens to be empty, but it's, again, for the style points. Am I actually using my new accessory that I just bought for retail cost? No, but it's all about showing my friends all the cool stuff I have. Like the new, the new iPhone, the new computer, the new everything. That is what this combo is based on. What good is having something if I can't show it to people so they know I have it? Like, come on. Moving back, now I ran out of rail space, so this is a rail addition thing that's pretty much designed specifically for this purpose, to put as much stuff on your blaster as possible, regardless of how practical it is. But that came with the Demolisher Customizer Pack thing, which is pretty cool, so it attaches to the Long Strike Rail. Up top we have the green Zombie Strike Optic, which just looks dope. I mean, look how cool it is. It's like a laser thing. Seems appropriate, since it's all about showing off how flashy awesome stuff is. And then over here we have the magazine holder, also in that Demolisher Customizer Pack, which holds another Empty magazine, doesn't matter. Minor details, form over function, bro, come on. I mean, look how accessible my empty magazine is. That's gonna really help me in a nerf battle. And on the other side, we have this cool Doomlands optic, which, you know, looks pretty cool, so I can actually look through both of my optics at the same time. Okay, like that, boom, done. Which helps me be more accurate. I don't know which one to pick, parallax. Okay, it might not be functional, but it looks super cool. Whatever. And in the back I have extra magazines for the color contrast because the included white ones blend into the shell and they look too discreet. I want it to be flashy so you can see all the cool stuff I have, like putting racing stripes on my car. Look at me guys, look at me. <laughs> and down in the magazine, that's not new enough. Much better, this is the 30 round drum from the Infinis and it looks super cool, blue, very flashy, hard contrast with the white so you can point it out and say, hey, that is not the magazine that came with the blaster, that is a newer, better magazine. Yeah, because that's what this combo's all about. Feel a little out of date with this stock. I wish I had a, a tactical stock attachment point so I could put on a new, cooler, flashier stock. Darn it, now my friends are gonna think I'm super cool and hip like them. Duh. That is this combo. Doesn't it look cool? Doesn't it show off how awesome everything is and new and special and not matching at all? But because nothing matches, it almost matches because nothing matches. Like, everything is an independent item. That's a, that's a thing. Yeah, that, that's, okay, fair enough. That's this combo. Next combo, because apparently it never gets old. Hashtag sniper status, bros. Oh, doesn't fit in a frame. Eh. The hardware is way too big, it just doesn't even fit. I get that all the time. Sniper status combo, of course, is for anybody engaging zombies beyond 9,000 meters, whatever a meter is. To reach out and shoot zombies super far away, you need a longer barrel because, of course, the longer the barrel, the longer your accuracy. Up front, we have the Modulus Long Strike Barrel because it's very snipery in feel and it just looks awesome. On top of that, we have the front Modulus Scope. Uh, well, not a real Modulus Scope. This is the repaint. This is another repaint. This is the second repaint. I don't actually have the original. It doesn't matter the color, we're all the same. We're just humans, right? Or scopes. Same thing, it's a metaphor, whatever. Why three scopes? Because they magnify with each other and you multiply it to so like 9x magnification, 9x, 9x, what's nine times nine times nine? No effing idea, but really big. <laughs> And that's the point. So if you're engaging at 9,000 meters, because with a super long barrel, you can obviously shoot that far, you have to see that far. Have you ever tried to look 9,000 meters with your naked eye? It's hard. Just don't look at the moon. That doesn't count. And I create that super long barrel with the modulus barrel extension. I have four of them. So, I mean, I have enough length, I think. I have a little bit of floppation issues. It's a little flaccid. Whoever said a straight barrel leads to accuracy, why not, you know, just put some spin on it and shoot around walls and stuff, you know, whipping it around like a tail. That's, that's the ideal floppation for a sniper barrel. No, that's a lie. That is the barrel hardware, which is probably the most important part of a sniper rifle, obviously. Down here we have a six round magazine, orange because reasons, and we have two more of them in the stock, one on each side. I'm gonna smack into a light somewhere. <laughs> this is so unwieldy. I'm gonna break something. It's too long. Why six round magazines? Of course it's a sniper rifle. One shot, one kill all the time. You don't need a super long barrel. Why don't you just aim? That's why you have a sniper rifle. You don't need an extended magazine unless you're a noob camper scrub <laughs> or you want to shoot at more than six people. But stop changing the subject. And that is the hashtag sniper status combo for anybody trying to engage zombies at beyond 9,000 meters. Good luck in your endeavors with this combo, sir. And last, but certainly not least, the Zambi Slayer combo. Every blaster needs a Zambi Slayer combo. When your opponent is a horde of mindless Zambies, you need a particular combo instead of shooting at humans like all of the other combos. That's where this bad boy comes in. Up front, we have the tri-rail barrel extension from the Demolisher Customizer Pack because it has three rails for the attachment of three chainsaw attachments, which looks super cool. Nerf, pretty plucks come out with a quad rail, one more rail right there, like a modulus barrel extension, but with two side rails, or turn the tri-rail into a, you know, quad rail. Need more rails, or if you can go like more than that, like put six like off angle all around the barrel. I might just chop off some rails and epoxy them on there just to make that happen. Yeah, I need to go do that. Need to finish the video first. Focus, Franklin, last combo, come on. In the thick of it, when you're slaying a bunch of zombies, sometimes you don't even need to shoot them. If you're close enough, if you have three chainsaws, you can just swing this around. I mean, heck, if you can spin fast enough, nobody can ever hit me here. Unless they have a, you know, a blaster and then they can just shoot me. And now I'm super dizzy. So if zombies came at me, 
would not have a good time. Behind the chainsaw, two flip-up modulus shields, because of course, when you slay a zombie and they spray blood, you can get contaminated and infected with the zombie virus if the blood gets in you. So the shields protect you from that. A, a little bit, not, not much, because it's like a three by six shield, but whatevs. It looks pretty cool and gives you that reassuring false sense of security, just like your five pin deadbolt on your front door. Those two shields are affixed to the modulus barrel extension. Behind that, we have the modulus carry handle, an attachment that in my opinion is a little underappreciated. It is vital in this combo to have a firm hold on the chainsaws as you're swinging them at zombies. The adjustable handle makes that super easy. And then if I want to go back to shooting, you know, it's out of the way. And bonus from certain angles, it kind of looks like my blaster has a boner. <laughs> Behind the boner handle or the carry handle, Behind the carry handle is a modulus red dot. Yes, the entire vision is impeded, but it looks pretty cool. So cool, in fact, that I put another one on there. Because just like scopes, the accuracy stacks. This is a 1x reflex sight. This is a 1x reflex sight. Do you know what 1 times 1 is? It's irrelevant. It's not 1. It looks cool. End of discussion. And below those, we have the clear 35 round drum because it's a super high capacity drum and it's zambi slang. Nobody has time to reload when you're up there chainsawing and spraying all the foam at the zambies. High capacity with the super slow rate of fire of the long strike, it'll probably last the whole game. And let's get real against the zambies. You're gonna be using chainsaws most of the time anyways. So who cares about the shooting of the blaster, really? And behind that, I have the two six round magazines because I left them in there from the previous combo. And that is the truth. Bonus addition to this combo is really more appropriate for a loadout video, but whatever. In my pocket, I have two of the twin slice discs so I can pull those out and throw them. Not blaster mounted, so it's not really a combo thing. It's more of a loadout, but whatever. In the thick of it, it doesn't really matter. You can just carry a bunch of those and disc people. Disc them hard. Disc is such an awkward word to use as a verb. <laughs> oh man, I lined up the shot and then I just disc that zombie right in the face. <laughs> But that is the Zambi Slayer combo, probably the most intimidating combo of them all. That is it for this episode of Nerf Combos. If you'd like to see a different blaster in a future episode, leave a comment in the section below. It's been a while since I've done a combos episode, BT Dubs. I'm a little rusty, but it's super fun to make, so I'll probably make more. That concludes this episode. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical. What good is having something if I can't show it to people so they know I have it? Like, come on. That is such a up thing to say.